So when I was in primary, kuna hii video flani ya wangare masai, alikuwa na nishana penye dread, alikuwa mekato, alikuwa na protest. You know that video? It's yes, very famous yes, yes, of her. Yes, yes, yes. So when I saw that video the first time when I was young, I was like, which type of human being is this that is willing to lose their life for a cause they believe in? I think that was the most powerful thing I've ever seen. Now, 20 something years later, later, I got that Eureka moment. I was like, I think I want to be like Wangari Mathai. I want to live for a cause that I believe in. I want to live and, and something, a cause that I'm willing, even if it's losing my life, for. I'm good. Every single day I'll make a brick, like 10 bricks, every single day, 10 bricks for nine months. And then I would take to construction companies, Njengo. Then I took a job and after a phone, I contracted a job. I put a job. I bring in a car. I don't get to me. I'm a phone. I say, "Ma, ah, this one changed this. This one doesn't look good." We need to focus. I come here. We enter. Do this. So I would go to construction sites and just give phone bills. I'm going to come. Hey, I'm going to do something. Hey, I'm going to do something. Let's do something. So I did that for nine months until one month. I get. I took to this contractor. I've been. I've been taking into like. Uh, he has seen the, pr the mm. process, he, has, mm. he had seen the whole process. Mm. And then I took to him this one, and it was in September, not to, I will not forget. And he told me, ah, you know, this one, ah, this one. There's something. This one, there's something, there's something in this one, there's mm. something in this one. Yes. So I was like, huh, I found it. Yeah. I remember there was this, um, there's this um, uh, potential investor I went to, and I was, I, was, I was pitching my idea and all that stuff. And he told me, well, I... I cannot give you money because you don't speak my language. I was like, what do you mean don't speak my language? I know my English is not that bad, but it's, 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 it's okay. I know I'm not the best in English, but I can, I can get by. So he said, no, I'm not speaking of that either. I'm speaking about you don't look like me. Therefore, I cannot, how do I, how, if you don't look like me, if you're not familiar to me, how do you expect me to entrust you with my money? In short, if you're not white. Exactly. So trust the process, one day your life is gonna change, keep on believing, you will be better than before, so trust the process. Oh, good morning welcome to yet another amazing episode of inspire global and my people the lady i'm about to bring you she has such an incredible story and i'm not even going to lie to you she has inspired me she's a vibe she's vibrant she's amazing and when you listen to her story you will understand why no one should ever tell you that you can't accomplish what you need to do in life but above all things you need to watch this episode with a notebook and a, a pen because we are about to be taught about financial intelligence too and the do's and don'ts when you are running a business. So kujeni tuende kwa isho house yake hapa industrial area. This is my first time filming something industrial area and I'm glad this is my first episode. So Jijenge Makers Limited yes. <laughs> Hi mommy, how are you? Uko salama? Mm, Kabisa? Bo, bo, bo. This is beautiful. Hi, mambo. Yetu iko wapi? Iko hapo ndani. Aya, kuna yetu tunakula hapa ndani? Mm. Okay. Haya, tu hapa ndio jijenge. Yeah, yeah, karibu jijenge. Asante sana. Sasa take us through, my friend. So, this is the first step. This entails a uh, uh, oil containers, uh, break, broken chairs, party chairs, tables, all those plastics, the uh, same category have been cleaned and crushed together. So the idea of crushing is to lower the surface area so that when it mixes with sand, it mixes well. And then when it, we take the plastic and the sand, we come here. And this is what we mix. The, the mixing at this stage is very mechanical and very manual. So we just, if you can see the sand in the bottom, and then on, on top here, this plastic. And also, if you want color, this is the stage where you add color. In addition to that, um, if we have the, pro the rejects we produce in the factory, we also crush and then we bring them back to this stage. So these are uh, the rejects. So we have crushed and started the process. So from there, we take uh, the mixture 
for example, this currently right now we are uh, recycling our own scrap, our own waste. So this is what is here. The, the our waste that we have produced, we have crushed it. So we take it and we put it here. So this is called a hydraulic press. So what this does, it takes the plastic and mixes this together to make um, ugali, like something like an oatmeal. So it goes when you start the machine, it moves through the process. You'll see, you'll see when it runs. So it moves through the process and it comes out here. So this, this is the molten form I was telling you. It's very hot at this point in time. It's about maybe 200 to 300 degrees centigrade. So this mixture, this is what, uh, in, in material science, this is what we call po uh, polymer concrete. We have uh, the one which you have in, uh, in um, Django, it's called Portland concrete. This is called polymer concrete. So we take this, we weigh here, uh, depending on what product you're using, it, it's the weight that is the unit of measure. And then from there, we put it in here. This is called, this machine is called a hydraulic press. And as the name suggests, it just presses. So this is about 100 bars of pressure. So you put here, uh, inside here, so this is called a mold. You put inside here, there are slots. So you put the, uh, the material there. And then this, after maybe three to five minutes, it goes up, you get your finished product. And then from there, you come here. So this is, uh, this is the cooling bath. Apologies, right now it's very hot, but the idea is uh, after some time we change this water or we, like, um, tonight it becomes a bit cold. So this is what comes out from the press. As you can see, it's, it's a bit, it's under, yet uh, to be finished, but this is uh, like one step left for it to be ready. From there, we come here, and uh, ideally speaking, at this point in time, we still don't have the machine yet, but we have a Viambo. <laughs> a Viambo does uh, a job way better than machines. So what she does is she finishes, she finishes this from this to this. And then we come here at the cage. So this is the finished product. So because the, right now we don't have um, a recording system, so we have a system to record. But until then we have this, uh, we put these markers. So just to tell after every mark, it's 500. After every mark, it's 500. So that's how we know. When you fill this cage, it's about 10,000, 10,000 pieces. Nine, nine to 10,000 pieces, fill this. Yes. yes. So yes. this is ready to go to site. Yeah. And then from site now, Patrick and his team, they do the installation. Okay. My name is Nzami, Nzami Mate, founder of Jijenge Makers Limited. Jijenge Makers is an alternative, affordable building product manufacturing company. What <laughs> way? No, in a, in a nutshell, what we do is we make alternative building products. And our first product lineup ever is yes. in Kenya, popularly known as Cabros, mm -hmm. made out of recycled plastic. Yeah. So we take plastic and convert it into building blocks. Really? Yes. Okay, you take plastic, you convert it into the brick now. Yes. yes. Ha I will go into how that is possible. Mm -hmm. Lakini, Tasa, I want uh, you to take sorry. us through your story. Mm -hmm. Maybe growing up, how was okay. life like for you growing up okay. until you becoming a founder uh -huh. of this amazing company? So, so I was born in Nairobi, mm -hmm. born and raised in Nairobi. Yeah. I was born in 19th September, the year 1991. Mm -hmm. um, grow, I've grown everywhere in Nairobi from Eastlands to Westlands. No, mostly Islands, yeah. actually. Islands and Kasa. Mm -hmm. I spend most of the time in Kasa. Kasa yeah. massive. Yes. Um, and yes, uh, Nilienda Shule Utawala Academy. Yeah. Nini, yeah. And then from there, I went to St. George's Girls. I mm -hmm. Halinga, Mapadini Spirit. Yeah. And then after there, I came up Juja Massive. Yes. Jekwat. Je okay. Jofu Kenyatta yeah. University <laughs> of Agriculture and Technology. This school to go to. Yes. These are just noise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you stop, please. <laughs> Why this is giving me noise. Uh, uh, Jaquat is the place. Ah, when it comes to science, engineering, and technology, yeah. Jaquat is the place to be. Uh -huh. see hype. Yeah. We were in the senior research. Mm. Did you always know you wanted to do uh, things engineering? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. But, so, so I always knew, because for me, my strength is, my skill is Kokwamkono. No, no, that is that is my skill. Yeah. Just the way your skill is in oratory skill. I mean, for yeah. me, my oratory skills came way later. Yes. What was in, uh, intrinsically in me was tinkering. Kutanyaza vitu, kuhunja vunja, kufanya vitu. Yeah. Redi kikujo na fungua. Most of the time, ukirudisha haifanyi kazi tena. It's yeah. not working. Yeah. You would do more breaking than repairing. Uh -huh. 
But in the process of me doing all that, I realized, hmm, the more you do it, the more you realize, oh, so this is how you do it, oh, this is how you do it. Yeah. Uh, so when I went to JQuart, yeah. I did Bachelor of Science in Physics. I majored in uh, geophysics and minored in material science. So in a nutshell, it was mostly matters exploration. Mm. Um, so earth exploration. So geophysics is just understanding the geo the physics of the of the earth. Okay. And then I know I'm not alone, but moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. then after that, and then materials is understanding the the, the inner workings of a material, the mm. properties of any material. Kutoka chakula, all the way to building, to war, to chemicals, just generally understanding the, the material makeup of anything, mm -hmm. or rather the atomic makeup of any material. Um, so when, when I graduated JQuart, um, I was fortunate enough by God's grace not to tarmac, because when I finished, I immediately entered into oil and gas. You, uh, you left JQuart immediately to... So I, I graduated in 20... Uh, I left JQuart 2014. Yeah. Graduated in 2015, June. By the time I was graduating in June, I had already had a job. Because I went to job in 2015, February. Wow. I had a job. So what it is, is... Um, so the, in this oil company, uh, one person had left. He was, a, I think, a, a reservoir engineer had mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. And so they had an opening for someone to do geophysics data. And they needed someone like Isa. Yes. I just submitted the papers the next day. Okay, we are going, we are coming back to oil and gas, but I want to take you back to campus okay. because those are like the defining years of our lives. Yes. Yeah. This is where you are getting your first boyfriend. <laughs> this is where you are getting your, yes. you know, your crew. Yes. This is where you are making friendships. Mm. This is where you are making enemies. Yes. How, how was that process like for you? Um, so for me, Jacob was, I think, one of the highlights of my whole journey because I understood the essence of school. So I'll tell you with so much conviction, I hated school. I did well academic-wise, but I hated school because I hated the process. I didn't like doing the same thing over and over again and having to be in a very controlled environment. Because I went to boarding when I was nine years. I've been in boarding all my life. So I, I, I didn't like being controlled, like, yo, fanya yi, nine, do this. Nine. I, it, so I never enjoyed the school process. Uh -huh. So when I went to JPAT, there was not that. So it was just you thrive. If you want to read, read. If you don't want to read, if don't you want read. to mess up, if mess up. Do it. And for me, that is the the environment that I thrive the most. Mm. So I think high, high, um, college, university was the best part of my education system. So I entered like this JQuart immediately. Of course, you're forming your crew. You're understanding yourself. Yeah. Um, you have this freedom, but also you're as broke as as a ding. <laughs> But then, um, yes. so, and then you're young, you're, you're vibrant. But one thing that was always true for me is I'm a firm believer in, in the purpose in life. And I'm a Christian. I believe that everyone was put in this earth for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Nothing happens for, as a coincidence. As a, yes, as a coincidence. I am a scientist and I am a believer. So, like, my, my, my understanding of life is, for example, when the Bible, uh, it reads, uh, there was, there was the, um, in the beginning, the earth was void, it was yes. dark. And the Lord said, let there be light. For me, and as a Christian, that's my understanding. For me, as a scientist, because I believe the Bible tells us why things happen and what things happen, science answers the how things happen. And so when Lord said, they let, let there be light, the science part of me is the Big Bang Theory, yes. it really happened. Yes. And that's what, because well, if you go to science, how the, everything was brought into universe became the way it became is because yes. of a big bang theory. Yes. And the, the, the universe keeps expanding. It keeps expanding. Okay. The energy, when you, uh, well, it's, um, uh, the Bible says, and Lord breathed his breath into human being. For me, that's energy, the science part. Because there's nothing you can do in this earth without energy. In this, in this, type, in this time space, yes. like for example, in this earth, you can never create, there's a theory of energy conservation that means you can never create energy nor destroy it. You can only transform it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's something God Munya Ali breathed yes. into us as human beings, into life, because that's what brought life into existence. Mm. But anyway, back it to Jekwat. Back to Jekwat. <laughs> mm. Back to Jekwat. Yeah. So, yes. So, for me in Jekwat, it was, it was a highlight. It was, uh, because I think, I think schools need to redefine their business model and actually realize that they're actually selling social makeup 
Of course, there's an arithmetic, the read, write, and meaning, which is really good. Okay. But they are actually selling social makeup because I learned the most important lessons, and that is a human interaction lesson in school. Kuka chini na desk metiako and sharing a rubber and then copy notes from each other and stealing food together. Yes. Those are things that as a kid you don't understand, but that's the biggest sell that schools do. And that is what I learned the most in school. Yeah. The arithmetic was good and everything else, but 70% was human interaction. That's powerful. That's powerful. Knowing how to interact yes, and with and human, human beings, beings and yes. understand. Yes. And also know that we are not the same. Yes. And we will never, never be, be the same. same. I love that. So JQuat is where you learned how to be free. Yes, to how to deal with people. Mm. How to be how to understand people. Yeah. Yes. I've not I've not finished yet. I'm like thirty percent. Oh. But the the thirty percent has Jquat a lot. Yes, it has worked out for you. Mm. So now we are after Jquat, you come out. Ah, so after Jquat. Hmm. <laughs> so after Jquat, I immediately now went the next year yes. to oil and gas. Yeah. So that was my first job. So you're young, you're naive, here you are, you're getting money, you have no responsibility. How much money is that? I'm not saying. Come I'll on. Know, I'll well, well, I'm just going <laughs> to ask, like, is it like big money for a 24 year old? It was, you know, when you're, you're 24, you're used to being broke in yes. campus. Any money is good money. I, I'll not lie to you. Yeah. So for me, after when I got this job, I of course I uh, uh, the beginning I started squandering and everything. Yeah. And one thing also I wish schools taught is they teach financial intelligence. It's one thing to be um, like knowing how to read and write and being a specialist at your field. But financial intelligence is an intelligence just like any other. Mm. You have what you call emotional intelligence, EQ. There's the intellectual intelligence, the, the IQ, IQ. And then you have the financial intelligence. Yes. And this is something that most schools and, and societies, and also our parents, they don't understand. Because what people don't realize is school systems were not made to enlighten people, but rather school systems were made to be able to build good uh, factory workers. Because the system of school came during the Industrial Revolution, I think in the first or second, when machines came. And the owners of these factories, they needed people to run the machines. So they needed to teach people how to be able to do the same thing in a consistent yeah. manner, in a structured environment. Yeah. Hence the school system we have today. Yes. So having financial intelligence is empowering people, which the school system is not meant to do. Mm -hmm. But the moral of the story in this is, context yeah. is... So when I, I didn't, I was not really good at financial intelligence. What did so. you do with your first salary? Ah. Chapulia kila mtu meza. Zikam. Make it rain. You make it rain. Yeah. And you know, I, I, don't, I don't drink alcohol. Like I don't, I don't, I'm not a huge yes. consumer of drugs. Yeah. Not even huge. I don't consume drugs. That's just because. <laughs> so, yeah. so, and when I come to Tomdogo, yeah. when I drink sugar, I get so oh, much sugar rush. Oh. Any short moja lafu, usha usha test a kid. This story is familiar. Then in a condia, chai in a nifanyanga in a kitu. Yeah. What's that in a chai? Soda. Hyper. Aye. So, what, hey. what I experience uh, when you drink and then I drink alcohol or consume drugs, yes. it's the exact opposite. Yeah. So, I get into like a mild depression. Uh. Like, for like, come on, you like 30 minutes, you get into because I'm. And then when I drink sugar, I am hyper. hyper. So I, my body doesn't have like midpoint. Yes. So I have, because of that, I try and just stick stay to it. You stay yes. away. Yes, yeah. I like having the balance. Yeah. So far, salary may come. Ay. Kutesa, leo ni kutesa. Ay. Leo di go off. You do like it. For, for, for. Yeah, pay show, pay one. Ay. Kalale. Ay. Kalale. Ay. Kalale. Ay. Kalale. Ay. Kalale. Ay. 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 That's what, what I did with the first salary. But I think it was legendary because I still remember it up to today. Yeah. So, yes, and then after that, I'm going to realize, wait, reality checks. Was this one answer compared now? Help with bills, help with your young siblings, and then so reality checks. Yes. But the moral of the story is I, I was actually really good at my job. I was uh, a geophysicist, so I will take reservoir data. So um, in oil and gas, you have three departments, or rather mm. three categories mm. or sectors. Yes. So you have what you call the upstream. Upstream, you extract oil from the ground. Yeah. 
and you have midstream. Midstream is a distribution, like in Anani. Mm. Um, like when it comes from the ground, it's processed, it's refined, mm -hmm. and it's distributed yes. now in very high scale. Yeah. And then we have the downstream, so some petrol stations. So that is the category when it comes yes. to oil and gas. So I was in the upstream. So I did that for from this um, February twenty fifteen to November no, no, November twenty sixteen. Oh. But during that time I felt this sense of unsettlement. Mm -hmm. Every single day. Like the first three months I was like, Yeah, good job and everything. And then the fourth month it comes up with question. Fifth month, by like the first year, I was, ah, ah, this is not where I belong. This is not where I belong. I clocking in the second year, apana, mm mm. Naskian kama, tay unana vinyo kwa primary, the last ni, ni maths. Yes. Ni nenda kuisha lafu lunch. Mm. And then yes, ku lunch. Yes. Ni ugali, skuma, na nyama. nyama. And then kobati mzuri kiatarasa amwe na wekia avocado. Yes. Mm. You are out. Ni kwa hapo. You are like the last. 10, 15 mm, minutes, mm, I was there. Mm -hmm. I need to be living something. I'm not, I'm, I don't belong here, I don't belong here. What can I call Liza Mungu? But when I'm in a place where I am starting to question, I just jam as a one year. Since when I do my parents and everyone is settled, you know, my child is in oil and gas. It's just a matter of time when I'm to our more. I'm walking. Like, what? So I said, Liza, and then we stayed there, we stayed there for, for now, like the, the, like on in March, in yes. 2016, March, yes. April, I now started feeling no, this I, I, it's obvious. I can't be here anymore. I cannot be here anymore. I cannot be here anymore. So I would take like really long offs. So like in 20, I think 16, mm -hmm. 2016, mm. I I took like five weeks, five six weeks off, and I I just I had a friend of mine. So in Jekwat, I met uh, now my best friend. Yes. She's called Paula. She's originally from Germany. Yeah. So I just texted her and told her the way I'm feeling frustrated and everything. And then she told me, "Do you want to come and take off? Just like a few times, we come to Kai and we rethink." Because uh, when she was in Kenya, we got to Ocha. Like we do ziki nuka wa shule. Muna enda na e. To nenda to mat, to nenda kuto ni kitui. To nenda kitui to nakabo, to nakunya chai, to nenda to na shosho. Just to reset and then we come back. Mm -hmm. So she told me, now do you want to come and see? Like tendo shago kwe to sasa. Yes. I was like yes. So she got me a plane ticket and everything, and I just went. So to I, Germany now? Yes, I took off, like five weeks off. I told my boss, yes. I need five weeks, I need to figure, it was five, six weeks, I need to figure myself out. Yeah. And then I had a really good boss. So I, I got like the first three, I had three weeks of leave. Yes. Then this is a Guinea Yes, Chini Amaji. So I went to Germany, I stayed there for like those five, six weeks. Yeah. And then during that time, Nikanza went like to different organizations, like different schools, Niki try to understand the concept of purpose. So in Japan, kuna hii concept yaitua Ikigai. Ikigai is the reason why you live. And I felt I needed to figure out why is it I was put in this world in the why first place. Why are you here? Yes. So after that, and then I came back. And then when I came back, uh, I was like, okay, now it's for sure I am not supposed to be here. Mm. So two months later, I wrote a resignation letter. What what made you come to that conclusion? I can't be here. What what is it that happened to you that you know this was it, the light bulb, you know, moment for you? So when I came back, ni vijana nikuja ni koko bado siko poa siko poa bado niko. I'm in a very different headspace. I feel like a huge void. I ni katuko weekend moja. I ni kasi mawe acha ni ende. I have family coast. There's something with a large water body. There's just something. Something magical. So I was by then, I was a plastic as well as my bani, this majuala. So I was this plastic that I was in the water, 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 I was in the and then I remembered, now let me take you way back, Nikiwa primary. Yeah. 
So when I was in primary, kuna hii video flani ya wangari mathai, alikuwa anonishana penye dread, alikuwa mekato, kukuna yes. protest. You know that video? It's very yes, famous yes, of yes, her. Yes, yes, yes. So when I saw that video the first time when I was young, I was like, which type of human being is this that is willing to lose their life for a cause they believe in? I think that was the most powerful thing I've ever seen. Yes. Because for me, I was like, this lady is protesting against trees. Not even people. You know, by then I was naive. I didn't understand the interaction of trees and, and human and all that stuff. But I was like, this, this lady is protesting against trees, people cutting trees. Like she believes in that so much. I didn't take, see, I didn't like know how powerful yes. that was. Kumbe it registered something subconsciously. Yeah. Uh-huh. No. Twenty something years later, later. I got that Eureka moment. I was like, I think I want to be like Wangari Mata. I want to live for a cause that I believe in. I want to live and, and something a cause that I'm willing, even if it's losing my life, for. I'm good. Well, Sasa Nika Kuja. Aya. I came back from coast, Sasa. I now wrote the resignation letter. I got to Lapi for like two, three weeks. And then my contract was coming to an end. Yeah. That was in November 2016. My contract yeah. was coming to an end. Mm. And then my boss had already structured another one. So it was just a matter of signing. Yeah. Go sign and then I renewed the contract. Mm. It was, I think, a two year contract. So when I came back, she called me and she was like, come, come get your contract. When I came, when I went to work with the contract, I went to the resigned resignation letter in my hands. I told her, thank you very much. I appreciate the process and everything, but I don't want this job. Here's a resignation letter. So instead of you renewing the contract, just give it to someone. Terminate mine. Uh, terminate it. And then she asked me, she, she's now passed on. Um, she was called Eunice. And she asked me, are you sure? Are you sure of where you're going? I told her, I have no idea where I'm going. Mm-hmm. So what are you going to do? I'm like, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but one thing is for sure, I am not meant to be here. That is something, I don't know what I want, but I know what I don't want. And this is something I don't want because I was not meant for me. This was just like school, it was something I had to pass through. So I, I, you cannot live in school forever. At some point in time you'll have to finish school. Yes. And for me this is the end of my class. So thank you very much. Mm-hmm. So I took all my savings and everything, Nikeka, and I knew I had, I had enough to survive until I figured something out. Yes. Castoma. Castoma. What? Yes. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Wahenga waku tusijui paka makuta kwa mdoko wa chupa. Wa, wahenga waku tupaka mafuta kwa nini walipo. Kwa mdoko wa chupa walipo, walipo loga. Walipo loga. He eh, he. Hmm. Ukiona vime undu wa. Ndiya lea. Kwa jiza zo undu. Kiswa hili ya raipi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so yes. Um, I nikaanza January. So I, I quit yes. in November 2016. Mm. 2016 December ilikuwa festivity. Let yes, me I chill. Like, yes. I was like, yeah, chilling moment. Mm-hmm. And then January 2017 yes. came and reality checked in. I had no plan, no nothing. Every, my family was asking me, so now what? I was like, I don't know. So my mom asked me, you left job for you don't know what to do. What is wrong with you? Come there. I, 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 Kama, kama mose salifi ili hivi menye lienda kambia watu ni muona bani mbushi na sema hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi. Kama walifi, walisikia hivyo, hivi ndo mina sikia hivyo menye lisikia. Yes. Jowezi itel mutu, niliona bani mbushi kani ambia nifanya hivi na hivi na mtu wakwele. People yeah. think you're crazy. Crazy. People thought crazy. I was crazy. Kapsa. So 2017, I started now just sitting there chilling, trying to just figure myself out. I knew I needed to do something in the environment. Yes. Yeah. I knew that one for sure. But what? So I went back to your sister, your story, Wangari Mathai. Mathai Wangari mm. Mathai is tool of trade. She believed in environmental justice. And her tool of trade was activism. She was really good at protesting against people who didn't um, implement environmental justice. For me, um, activism is not, my, is not my thing. What is my thing? Science and engineering. That is my thing. Building things, thinking things. My that hands. is my thing. My power is in my hands. Mm-hmm. I, I cannot go and, and, and walk in placards and, and push for, that is not my thing. Yeah. My thing is building things. So I will do what it is I'm good at. 
I'll start building things. So the question was what? So what is the in, in this life minus all these elements? What do you wake up? What do you do? Whatever you're doing, it's for three basic things: food, shelter, and clothing. Wewe ukakaa tu ambao utakuwa unapata chakula utakuwa na shelter na mavazi na nini utakuwa sawa utasorted there will be no need of coming yes. out yes tumbo ndo inatuelekeza yeah. kufanya vitu vya inafanya yeah. to the and, and promoting the growth that you have established mm. as human beings yes. over the period of years you lived mm. so i said let me make something that impacts a basic need because then it will make sense and that is how i settled for shelter yeah so i was matters environment and uh, positive environmental impact and justice check something to do with engineering science and tech check, check. and something to be impact housing yes. shelter basic needs mm. check. check at least i had those three yeah now the question is what so i met uh, four of my guys and my friends of mine or other acquaintances mm. in a hackathon it was uh, it was funded by one of the uh, biggest banks in kenya So we went we were posed for a challenge it's actually challenges in business and society yeah. and we came up with the concept and the concept was called Jijenge wow and i remember when we finished making the logo and everything i just saw the logo like this yes i just saw this it. one hey. here it took like what two, three minutes to make it i just saw this logo and i was like this is it yeah you remember i was like back to point one. A new matters environment and, and, and positive environmental impact uh, matters engineering and tech and housing yes. you remember those three points yes. now the fourth point was whatever it was it had to have this wow. whatever it was the fourth the fourth element was it had to have this mm. so yes yeah, so we finished the hackathon and then for the hackathon we actually came number one but then this is Kenya so Najwa so kidogo kidogo Kiswahili kizungu nini funding it to talk okay i had some inner numa hai dhuru so we did that for like three months but then over the period of time we don't finish it for three months and you don't see any return yes. you get demoralized yeah and so slowly by slowly kidogo team moja people left people left you were five we started six mm. and a five four three two until it became one just you yeah last person standing yes. last man standing mm. in this case last woman standing yeah. So yeah because I I remember when I uh, when we because we had the idea the idea was collecting plastic uh, with app uh, having like you register an app you have a challenge of plastic you can collect and then we give you points but then we didn't have the cash flow we didn't have the muscle to make that to realize that mm. and then what we did is um, I started my own community I'd collect plastic and just put it in my mom's backyard so when I quit my job I actually had to move back with my mom because I couldn't afford paying rent I couldn't afford to keep myself so I went back to my mom and when I went back to my mom my mom told me I give you one year figure yourself out now that was the whole of 2017 if it doesn't work you go back to your boss and you beg for your job I was like first of all I'm really privileged and honored that someone can give me one whole year But then begging my job, hey my friend. It's no mm. I was in my. Yes, go buy a bati I was. I was me. I was. It can't. Ah. Tufanye shughuli nyingine sio. Yeah. Ah, so when I moved back to my mom's um, place, akona shamba yake hapo, nikakonvert hiyo shamba yake nikachukua ka section kidogo, nikakonvert chako kama ka workshop, ka factory kadogo. Sasa nilikuwa nachukua plastics na rumbika, yani mm. mpaka wataki kuja kwetu. They ask my friend is your house a dump site so keep asking my mom mama like just leave just That's, leave her. yeah just leave her she's mm. figuring out and then mm. people are like hey this this child of yours hey, are you sure she's like just leave her she 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 find her footing mm. yeah and then when people left i it took me nine months to make one brick like to make the eat brick it was literally a human gestation period nine months to convert plastic into a brick yes like the brick and yeah yes ile unakunka this is for common statement na semanga you like a moment mm-hmm. so just to give you a brief a brick uh, yes. a brief background yeah. so you like means i i found it it was by uh, i think if i'm not wrong i made this from not wrong maybe mm. i'm right maybe i'm wrong mm. it's greek for i mm. found it mm. because he was looking for how to measure the volume of yes. an object so blah blah blah, yeah. blah. So hence the hence the term eureka moment. Eureka. So my eureka moment was nine months later. So I've been doing every single day I make 
a uh, brick, like 10 bricks every single day, 10 bricks for nine months. And then I would take to construction companies. Njengo. Then I took a mjengo and after a phone and a contractor and I said, I'm going to buy a brick and I'm going to buy a brick. And I'm going to say, ah, this one changed this, this one doesn't look good. I'm going to buy a brick and I'm going to buy a brick and do this. So I would go to construction sites and just give fundies. I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to buy a brick. I'm going to buy a brick. That's what I'm going to buy. So I did that for nine months until one month I, gave, I, I took to this contractor, I've been, I've been taking him to, like, uh, he has seen the, pr the mm. process, he has, mm. he has seen the whole process. Mm. And then I took to him this one, uh, it was in September, not to, I will not forget, and he told me, ah, yeah, this one, ah, this one. There's something. This one, there's something, there's something in this one, there's mm. something in this one. Yes. So I was like, huh, I found it. Yeah. I found the right formula, I found the right composition. Yes. I was polished, I was finished, Vizuri, but it proved the basic mm. concept. Mm. So I was like, if 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 you if you if you, if, you would, if I would make many, would you use it? Like, yeah, this is something I can use because I had seen the process. Mm. I saw that. So what I did is, and during that period of time, because quote we didn't have Wi-Fi, we didn't have internet. So what I'll do is I converted the church into a work, working space, a co-working space. So the church we had the offices they had Wi-Fi. So I'd go and well, Monday to, Monday to Saturday just work in church and then help church to clean file returns, basic returns, like to do very small clerical yes. work in exchange. Yeah. So then the pastor had seen the process. Yeah. And first of all, big up to deliverance and bulbul. Uh, the, 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 that was the church. So uh, I remember I talked to this pastor and I told him, so I found this brick and I see the compound of the church needs paving. So what I need you to do is do me one favor. Write me a commitment letter that if I'm able to change the features that you've told me about this brick, and I'm able to produce a large amount of bricks, you would buy them from me. I just need a letter. I don't want you to give me money, I don't want, I just need the letter. This is Deliverance Church Bulbul. Yeah, Mbulbul. Mbulbul. Koko Kendangong. Yes. Nintongo Bull short for. Yeah. So the pastor wrote for me a letter. In fact, I wrote the letter, and then I just gave him to sign. I sign here. So, so I took the brick, the letter, na very, not so good looking business model, but then I thought it was a business model. But now I'm like, ah, that is not a business model. Yeah. So I took those three things and they went to banks. I can say with so much confidence, I don't think there's a local bank in Jakarta at that point in time asking for money, asking for loan. Because for me to make bricks to sell to the church, I need machines. For me to get the machines, I need the money. Now that's the challenge with manufacturing. You need the money up front. It's not like tech. Tech, you build the tech, you get subscribers, you get users over a period of yes. time, and then the money, you start now bringing yes. money to yes. push the operations. Mm -hmm. But in manufacturing, things are flipped. Mm. You need the money to set up the machinery, to set up the capacity, then you can produce, then you can sell. Yes. So I needed the money. I don't have a good statement. I don't have anything. I have exhausted mom's money because mom was funding. During that process, you could prototype. I was making uh, um, small machines, very cranky. She was the one who was funding that. Aww. Until now, when she found the brick, Alionio brick, ako. Hey, then you suddenly tell a contractor. I saw her, I gave it to her, and she asked me, You're sure there's no more cement here? I was like, Yeah, there's no cement. Are you really, really sure there's no cement here? Yes. Hi. Hey, Kongumu Evi. Come here. Makanya, eh? Yawa. So I was like, okay, fine. Now, so I was like, to December 2017. I was like, fine. For three months, I've been working in banks, and every bank is just saying no. I've walked to every hub in this Nairobi. All of them are saying, no, you're too early, you're too early, you're too early. I'm like, but your hubs, okay, for banks, I understand. But for hubs, that's the reason why you're meant to do. Mm. You're meant to help startups grow. You're meant to help people with ideas, mm. bring them to fruition. Mm. So if you're telling me, go build your idea and then come back, mm. then why are you there? Why are you here in the first place? Mm. Because it doesn't make sense. So... I, I said, fine, the banks are saying no, the hubs and the incubations, all of them in Nairobi are saying no. I was like, you know what, fine. For the lack of a better word, and don't mind my French, a few. So I applied for school and then went to the US. Now in 2018, I moved to the US. 
So I stayed there for one year. Mm -hmm. And during that period when I was in school, I enrolled in hubs and that, that's how I started prototyping and redefining the, the brick and, and doing more like mm -hmm. proper business. But I took, I took about for the, for the whole um, one year I did, the bulk of it was in finance because I knew the tech and the science part of it, that is something that comes intrinsically. Mm. But the finance, I, 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 don't, I don't have knowledge in finance. I need to know finance, left, right and center. So I started now deep dive entering into finance world. It was, it was a whole world altogether. So while I was there now um, in, um, improving, remember uh, when I started financial intelligence, yes. now the idea was to, up, to improve the uptake and to improve my financial mm. intelligence. Mm. And then after that, I now came back in 2019, I'd, I'd fundraised. So when you're, when you're running a startup, yeah. you, they have different levels of raising funds. Yes. Remember, as I told you, in this context and in any startup altogether, the idea, the goal and the agenda of a startup is growth. So people need to understand there's a difference between a business and a, a, a concept that starts as a startup. Mm. A business you can do either a legacy business, like the Indians. Yes. You start something and then you give it to a child and yeah. the child opens. Mm -hmm. You start a hardware and then yeah. the child takes it to a factory and yes. then so on and so forth. And then you have a, a lifestyle business. A lifestyle business, you're starting a, a business so that you can fend for yourself. Mm. So, well, I need money. So I start a business so that it can help me with my upkeep. Yes. And then you have the business that you build for it to go. Do you build it to go to IPOs, like to stock exchange, mm. or do you build it for exit? Mm -hmm. But the idea of a startup is at some point in time, there must be an exit. Yeah. Exit is where it moves from one level to, to another. another. To another. Yeah. And also the management and the leadership mm. also changes. Mm -hmm. So for me, I knew I needed a startup because I want to build something that will grow way beyond me and then give it to people who are really good at mm. managing. Because for me as a person, in the, in, the, in the period I was in the US, I think the best lesson I ever learned and the best gift you can ever give yourself is self-awareness. Understanding yourself is the best gift you can ever give yourself. So I started understanding who I am, what is my strengths, what am I good at, what am I not good at? And I realized, I believe I am one of the best leaders I can ever, you can ever have in this generation. And this is not to blow my own horn or anything. But on the flip side of that, I'm one of the most not so good administrators. Management, Nini, that is not my strength. My strength is in leadership. And the difference for my understanding is leadership is you, you see a vision, you, you, you set a mission, and you help sell the vision and influence the people yes. to join you through, through this yes. journey. Yes. Management is you set structures and you set goals and you tell people, if you do these goals, these are the pros. If you do these calls, these are the cons. And everyone knows. So it's very mechanical. Mm. This one is very fluid. But you need both. You cannot have one without the other. You yeah. need both. Because everyone, both those concepts have their role mm -hmm. in life. Mm. And so... When I started now doing the, when I came back now and started joining it, in fact, I came back in 2019, I had finished fundraising, so I did the first, so you have seed round, you have, uh, you can have pre-seed, so when you're starting, you're starting to fundraise, you have the pre-seed, pre-seed is the money you, give, you get from friends, family, and food. Yes. So friends are like the one which mom was giving me, mm. um, my friends, uh, yeah. just, like you give me money, I, mm. I build something, mm. okay? And then um, the next stage is you now get it from either angel investors or you get it from foundations or people who, ideally speaking, fund small ticket mm -hmm. sizes. Mm -hmm. And then from there now you can move either to post seed yes. or you can move now you start to what you call series A, series B. So as you continue growing, mm -hmm. you keep on moving yes. and increasing the ticket size. Yeah. So for me, when I, I, I got the first uh, pre-seed that came back now from the U.S., I started, I landed in Jijeng, uh, I landed in 2018, 2019, I was like, fine, I'm starting Jijeng. So one thing I like is, in my life and this program, things have been doing, like have been happening in 12 stores. 2017, the whole of the year, self-awareness, building the project, prototyping. 2018, financial intelligence, building myself, building more, more self-awareness and fundraising. And 2019, now it's actually bringing the idea from from this realm into actualization. into actualization. So 12 is your lucky number. I think so. I think 12 so. is my lucky number. Yeah. So in 2019, now I started now. The first one was I needed, because I've been working for my mom's backyard, Majirani Wakanza Kulanga Mika. 
kama kawaida ikiti yako iko na kelele ikiti yako itufanyishi mzuri it was very in a tom motion maybe at that point time it was not very efficient mm. it was very clunky so they were complaining and then they told me ah tumekupea tume wania sasa ilikuwa 2017 tumekupea wania uspo uspofanya tunakutia mema so i knew when i came back in 2019 i couldn't go back to my home market i needed to be like in an industrial zone mm. so hence i came to industrial area yeah So every single day I'll walk in industrial area cuz I'm go down just looking for for like a, a workshop because I didn't have that much money I just needed like a small workshop Space. yeah so slowly by slowly and that's when I I remembered the gearbox so when I was in here in 2017 um when I was going to hubs and different places I spent a lot of uh, most times in in this um maker space it was yeah. called gearbox gearbox mm-hmm. yes So I I was spend like when things go tough or uh, I'm going to Nairobi kuna times ngine ushatembea Nairobi hapo Hilton kuna watu wamekaa hapo wamekosa job in fact I empathize with those people because once upon a time I was that person I was sitting there at Hilton sina pesa hata zile chipo za dhati za pale Odeon sio zile chipo za nyama kanga msimama sina pesa hata hiyo chipo kama uja kule hizo chipo Nairobi hujangaika If you have not eaten those chips, I don't know how much. Maybe now they are like 56. <laughs> Direct out <laughs> here. If you have not eaten yes. those chips, you know. Ilikuwa that type. Excuse me, yeah. excuse me, like 60 boy. I think yes. I'm, I'm not sure. But if you have not eaten those chips, my friend. Ah, I know them. Yes. So I was that person sitting in Hilton. So I empathize with them. So in 2019 sasa I would walk in industrial area just in and out in and out in and out. And then I came to Gearbox I called Dr. Um yeah. so the 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 founder of Gearbox is uh, it's called Dr. Kamau. Yeah. So I called him Dr. Dr. and told him um I'm looking for a space a very small space can 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 I come and start something in in, in Gearbox. I was like yeah sure come. By that time when I, in 2017 they were in the Ngong Road but now they had moved to Industrial Area yeah. even better. So I came to Industrial Area and then he showed me a place and I was like yeah wow. here it is you can do your a business just there. like that just like that yeah. so that's how in 2019 i started yeah so i started like a small space it was 450 square foot in kama hii in fact it was kama hii room yes it was like exactly like this room yeah so i went so i had this concept make a yes i have a few coins um i need to make it into reality 2019 yote nilikuwa na shina kasiko industry niko kadio bangi light industries i have a mentor there is called Mr. Mbuvia so i would come stay in gearbox uh, in gearbox kidogo and then go to bangu nilito bangu mm. i go to bangu and stay there like just stay with him because idea kazi za mkono kuchomelea kukata chuma kufanya nini just basics na mfuata penye nenda na nunua chuma penye nenda parts penye nenda scrap yards i'll go with him i'll follow him every And that is how I made the first extruder. Yes. I made it with him. So yes, in 2019 I have one extruder, but you need a production line. You cannot yeah. have with one. You cannot work with one thing. You need a production line. Mm. So I needed a press. So the same thing in Kenya. And then in the process one thing I think people need to understand is people come to your life for a reason. And the team I have right now, they just came one by one. Like our lead in operations, our chief operations officer He just finished the JQuad. So I was friends with his brother. And then his brother is in tech, he's in IT. And I was like, "Hey, I have a, I have a younger brother of mine, he's also from JQuad. He has finished uh, production engineering and he needs somewhere to just do an attachment. Yes. Can you help him to fill to the logbook yes. to show that yes, he did something." Mm. And they will work for free. I was like, I came and then I told him, "I I don't believe in working for free. I don't believe in working for free. For me that's exploitation." And that's a challenge we have in most African countries because the largest population is young people 70% is young people and so it is easy to quote and quote package experience as ex- uh, package exploitation as exposure it is very easy to package exploitation as exposure yes and so for me remember i was once upon a time there so i told him no um i can afford to pay you way beyond the minimum way beyond the minimum yenye Okay, uru anasema jamu yes, 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 yes. I will give you 12% or 10%. Yes, yes. I'll give you almost half of that yeah. because that's what I can afford. Yeah. Because remember, I have a lot of money that I need to invest in capex. Capex is capital expenditure. Mm. This is machines and production. 
That is where the bulk of the money go yes. went. And I don't have that much money. I'll tell you something about my fundraising journey. But yes, so he came and slowly by slowly, and now like three years later, four years later now, he's the lead, lead, lead in operations. Oh, wow. We started with him and him, and then we went to three, and then seven, and now we're 26, and then we're how many, 13. How many, how many permanent employees? So we have 26 full-time, 113 part-time. Oh, come on now. Yes, so even too, slowly by slowly. Um, so yeah, Nikamaliza, so the whole of 2019, it was just building, building, building. FYI. When you're using money, basic concept of finance, if you're using money and you're not bringing in, at some point in time, you'll run out of money. Guarantee. Because I'm spending all this money, I spent all the money I had in capital expenditure. Built the best production line, I think, for me, in my understanding, in this concept. The best. It took us 12 months. To go to the to the chuma, to the test, in katika, in haribika. You built it, 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 your it. machines from scratch. Yes. Designed, fabricated everything from scratch. We are not importing anything. No. We are building here. Yes. In building. this country. Yes. Everything we built here. In Zambia, you can make it from scratch. 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 Because I realized if I import, in case of a breakdown, I'll have to go back, for example, to China and have the part come. Do I have the money for that? No. I have to be very frugal as much as I can. And so how could I be able to control the future expenses is by maintaining the, the repairs and maintenance, wow. having control in the repairs and maintenance. Wow. How do I have control in the repairs and maintenance? By being able to know, at a, by the mere sound of something, I can tell you, in him, Barbika, in him, Fanyika. I needed to be in that wow. position because that's how I can control the expenditure. Mm. So yeah, 2019 order to build, and then in 2020 January we have a really good production line, but your cash flow zero. We launch the product, COVID happens. <laughs> oh yeah. To launch product, come on, 28th March, 30th, 31st May, first May, Serikali mefunga ni. COVID, go home. Everything shut down. By then, I had we were now three. No, we were four. We were four. I had three employees. I have to pay three people. COVID, we Cash flow, to me to make machines in hopes that to make machines to turn the project. To product, what we are now doing, pesa ina anza kuingia. COVID, we yeah. so the plan didn't go as planned. Mm. So I went back, nikangalia kwa reserves zetu, kwa cash flow run wetu, nikona, we only have like, what, two, three months. I can pay them two, three months, and then I'm after done. that, God shall provide. So now can Uliza, how are we going to live? You can imagine God shall provide. So what can you do? They told us, if you have money for three months, cut that salary into two, so that you can have money for six months. I was like, fine. Remember, your period, 2019, 2020, at and we were Yeah. Hi, yeah. So, I start, we started, we just went through COVID. The first quarter, COVID, and then slowly we started getting the, 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 the phase. And then, mm. what we did in August, we got the first project, in Kwashule. I told me, yeah, Shule is my full one, nini, 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 to take it time for you. Repairs. So, do you mind because it's a community school only yes. grant? Yeah. Yeah. So, project. That was the first project. And then slowly by slowly, because people started moving back home during COVID, mm. people who wanted to do home repairs and renovations, they couldn't do because we can't do Monday to maybe Friday, Monday to Saturday. Sunday, we can't do project. So, we 
Monday the journey begins. So this person doesn't have much time to do all these renovations. But now because of the COVID, they've been forced to work from home, they start noticing these things. And then they start doing home renovations. Yes. And that's how we started making sale, one by one. One by one, just one household after another. One household after another. After the other. Referral too. Na kufanyia, unatrefa kwa mwingine. Ivo, 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 ivo. And that's how we survived in 2020. Yeah. Yes. Kai. Pole pole tu. Pole pole tu. Pole mm. pole tu. Pole mm. pole tu. In 2020. Aya. Mm. And then 2020 December. Yes. So in 20, let me push you back again in 2017. In 2017, yes. In 2017, I applied for this um, uh, award here yeah, UN. It's called UNEP Young Champions of the Earth Award. I applied yes. in 2017. Yeah. I didn't get. So I told myself the next time I'll apply for this thing, I better win because I need to be ready. So I applied in now 2019. And then in 2020, I got the letter, congratulations. You've been selected as the European Champions of the Earth Award, Africa region. There are, I think, seven of us, like every continent, yes. gonna, gonna Re- a winner, a representative, and you represent Africa. Uh, congratulations. But I can't tell you, I'm gonna, 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 Tana wa mesema yu 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 yu? I am not sure. Now, I knew they have over a thousand applications. I mean, this is the UN we're yes. talking about. They have a thousand applications. How can I stand out out of a thousand people? But yes, they called me. Sasa so, so, Joa I didn't reply the email. So they, they called, called. And to make matters even better, they video called. Ndo ni? Ni one. Ni confirm. Baka yes. Ndogo ni mwambie, e buwenda kwa ile logo ya yu 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 So then now they sent a proper email with everything video and then and then and then they told us um we'll do an orientation but then everything was virtual so we did a virtual yes. meetup just to officiate with everyone now the, yes. the other six yes. participants mm-hmm. in other continents and yes, congratulations thank you very much yes. and that is when i realized yes it's it's actually real for real yeah and for me that was that was now remember everything was happening in 12s Like moving from one level to another. I told you. To I told you. So in 2019 December, I get that. Yes. In, in 2020, no, 2020 December. In yeah, 2020 December, I get that. Mm. Now, 2021 January, so Sandio, the officiation event yes. and everything. And then the media came. Remember, I've been doing this all chinyamaji. Ata ku post Facebook, na post, post moja, pata two likes. My three, mom and my sister. Four, oh, I was, in fact, I was getting three. Mm. My mom, my two sisters. Mm. Everything I post, three. You can understand maybe five, my cousins and my friends. Ten at most. My following was 200 people. Apple. And then in one month, it moved from 200, Instagram, it moved from 200 to 2,000 in one month. And then you can let it be song. And then people started, like the media came. And it's not just local media. International media too. CNN, BBC, BW, yes. Nani, Nani. Yes. What do you want left, right, center, and big gear? I didn't have a uh, like PA or anything. Okay. They would call me in my pers- personal mm-hmm. line. Yeah. We are coming for an interview. Yes. So it, it reached a point. The UNEP communications team started acting as my, like PA. my PR, yes. PR team. Yes. Yeah. They will now handle the interviews. Yes. So when as organized, mm. those is me. This is Kuzi anyway. Mm, this is Bombard. This, uh, mm. So they, they will control that. So they'll mm. tell me today you're having CNN, tomorrow you're having BBC, the other time you're going to DW, and the next week you'll have The Guardian, yes. you'll have The Times, yes. Evo, Evo, Evo. And these are just media zinye, zinye tu ziko. No, no. Baka, yani baka uyu Gail, uyu bestia Oprah, yes. Evo. Yes. Like, I... Nikaambia mungu, mungu ukifungua mlango. Hata goli atakakuja hiyo mlango hizi fungu. There we go. 
hata goal yako yakoja bazi yes haizi funge mlango amen now start sales started coming sales started coming yes. simu simu tunataka 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 and 2021 i think for us that was like the first year we have actually sell mm due covid at least we were yeah. kidogo we were kidogo kabisa yeah. but then we started doing sales mm. slowly by slowly Ah, yeah. Now let me take you back. Yeah. In 2019. Yeah. So remember uh, the the concept I told you for you to 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 run a manufacturing company you need capital up front. Yes. Getting capital up front we need the two fundraise from angel investors. Yes. Na foundations. The challenge that exists is most of these angel investors and, and foundations are not locally based. They're actually foreign based. Most of them are in uh, western world others in the eastern world the asians the asian titans and so on and so fundraising in this world because here i am new i don't know how to do it i don't have financial intelligence i'm mm. not well connected mm. so i cannot ride on that i have to just do it myself yeah. it is me or no one else mm. so i started fundraising and started fundraising and then remember in 2020 to mamaza pesa yote so we needed to continue topping up the cash flow yeah. to give us runway runway is the money you have until you lose mm. you finish your mm. your cash flow so in the process of me fundraising i realized i have in the financial world i have a glass ceiling in my head above me and the downside is the glass ceiling is very low by that what i mean is as a black solo founder who's african there's just this amount of money you can raise it's 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 not there but it's very it's very subtle like it's it's very subtle but you have a glass ceiling to it like you cannot go beyond mm. this to get mm. i remember there was this um there's this um, uh, potential investor i went to and I was, I was i was pitching my idea and all that stuff and he told me well i i cannot give you money because you don't speak my language I was like what do you mean to speak my language? I know my English is not that bad, but it's 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 it's, it's okay. I know I'm not the best in English, but I can I can get by. And then was, and then I told him also don't mind about the financial the financial side. I I'm a numbers person. Numbers make sense to me. So if there's somewhere where in the numbers are provided they don't make sense, ask me I'll break it down for you. Oh, Even if it's not the degree of like a financial expert, but I can get by. So he said no I'm not speaking of that either. I'm speaking about you don't look like me. Therefore I cannot how do I how if you don't look like me if you're not familiar to me how do you expect me to entrust you with my money? In short if you're not white. Exactly. And for me that was the best advice I ever got. It was just plain and simple because I was asking myself what am I doing wrong? What am I doing? Why because every the 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 the, the investors that I got were actually people who believed in me and about half no not in fact almost, almost all of the investors i got actually got them because we went to church when i was in the us the church i went to that's how we knew each other so they knew me personally but these when you're fundraising to investors you, these are people you don't know so you have yes. to establish yes, that relationship yes. so i was i was having like everyone would go and expect like there would be just a, a blockage And then I asked myself what am I doing wrong? Like I'm I'm I, in my head I'm doing it every, everything right. Why is it not coming to fruition? And when he said that I was like someone would take offense. You would feel racially discriminated. Yes. yes. But you 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 so for me I was like I'll always be black. I'll always be African. That is something I cannot change. So me taking this as an insult is not going to help. because it's something i cannot change he will always be white he'll always be where for he's coming from so that i cannot change my goal is if something i can control i control if i cannot control i accept in this case it was awakening moment because he answered the question i was asking myself where am i going wrong i realized i was not going, I, was, i was doing nothing wrong i just happened to be not of the color they're looking for wow and i'm like you know what it's fine I cannot change this. I'll always be this. So I'll do it. Either way you like it or don't, I will do it. So if you say no, I tell I'm telling you I spoke to about what about 60 something 
investors. White? Yeah, most of them were white. Yeah. And again, the ones who are not white, by not white, I mean anything other than anything white, other than Asian, than, Indian, yes, yes. African. I can think I can put them in my hand. The rest were predominantly white. And I understand the concept because in, in the Western world, you have very, like you have a lot of people within the, within the 1%, the high net worth individuals, they are more in the Western world compared to Kenya and, mm. and Africa. Mm. The, the people who are high, most of the people, are rather the largest population yes. in Kenya and Africa, they live beyond poverty line. So fundraising in the local space, it's near impossible. And the 1% in Kenya and in Africa, they believe in the traditional forms of investment yeah. because this is very high risk. And I actually understand this is really a high risk. It's more of a gamble. It's, it's literally 50-50. It works or not. You want somewhere where you have like 70, 30, 80, 20, you know, you have a high chance of yes. getting, getting yes. an ROI return yeah. on investment. So the only option, or rather the option I thought I had at that point in time was in this world. And in this world, I am not of this world. So I always, always have the, the negatives working against me. And what they would ask is, well, how is your team? And in my team, I don't have anyone who is white. So it doesn't help either. Like I say, D, Kabsa. But your team yeah. is who is white in your team. Yeah, who's white in my team? At least I end up present. You know, I acquire my Aaron. You know, in Moses, he had, he had Aaron to speak Aaron, for him. Yes. I need an Aaron to but, go and speak for but me. But your Aaron is not white. But I am Moses and I am the Aaron. Yes. <laughs> it is just me. It is just him. So slowly by slowly, he started fundraising. And now, moving forward now to 2021, yeah. now with the UNEP, now yes. I have this huge body that has validated yes. me. And so now fundraising became a bit easier. Easy. No, no. Now, it was, it was, I realized the doors that I was really working so hard to bang are now open and just telling me calm. Just by themselves. Calm. Yes. I'm not there yet. So I was not standing and saying, I'm, I'm yes, I'm mm. uh -uh. Mm. I'll not lie. Yeah. It's a process. And one thing I've learned is we as human beings, we are always very, and especially if you're of the A-type personality, you're very goal-oriented. You want, I want, this. I want the result. But something we forget is appreciate the process. Trust you me, appreciate the process. God forbid, but now if everything goes south and Jijenge fails, for me, it's still a win. Now I understand why in the Western world they celebrate failures. I now understand the Zambia I am now, or oh, it is not the Zambia I was when I started Jijenge. The lessons I've learned through this process, oh, they're enormous. They have made me a better human being. Yes. My friend, Unasemanga Character Development, ya Nairobi. Anza biashara ujua character development. Na kwambia lin, kama mei, ime impita tu juzi, si kuchizi. Mi mstaha ichizi. My quarter for kuchizi is out. I have hit my quarter. Yeah. Because something I've learned when you're running business, you're dealing with people, human resource, whether it's suppliers, whether it's people, the team, whether it's uh, customers, you you're dealing with human resource. And then Apple gonna take higher. Apple gonna finance. You need to get the finances. Apple, you're, you're trying to balance customer feedback. So you have to manage their, their expectations. Yes. yes. You have to manage their ego and pride and personality. And then on this other side, you have the government body doing its thing. its thing. The government just being the government. Yes. And then here you are, people just being people. Twitter, you find someone writing at the, she's just been, she's just a, a puppet of, of, a, of a, white a, white, person. a white person. Like she has a white person behind her doing the, the work for her. And then she's just a face. Ha, huh, my friend, I wish. I don't mind that you white, blue, yellow, green. You go to behind me, me like a puppet. She complains. She complain. Yeah. Because the cinema, I have seen cinema. Ah, I have seen cinema. Stuck in Tanzania. Nanta zidi kona cinema because that is life. So, the the moral of the story is, I think for me, the lessons I've learned over the period of yes. time, and I continue learning now, is yeah. everything. When everything went south. Come on, we're going to be in May and, and I think in 2020, that was yeah. a period in time. Yeah. Everything went south. Machine is a second day, machine is going to break down. The day machine is going to break down, the cash flow zero, the bank is negative. 
The day bank iko negative ndio mtu anakuambia by the you are supposed to pay payroll. You cannot pay anyone. Ukimaza ni wapero, supply na kwambia ni pede ni yangu, 30 days ni lapse, hata ni mkona bati sana ni mkona 30 days. After that, customer na kwambia, bethi we, hata sinu unwe ni change mind. Investor na kwambia, no, rent na kuja. Yes. Bada ya hayo yote, yote tisa, kumi ni. The one thing that held me is, I always knew, deep down kwa nina, ni mechoka, vitu zimeenda south, but I was always sleeping smiling because I felt this was my purpose. Yeah. I always slept smiling. Yeah. Even when things went south, you found your ikigai. Exactly. Everything went south, I found my ikigai. Yes. I always smell like my smile. So I remember even when I was telling this concept, my mom, my mom was like, "You're very, you live in a very hypothetical world." And I told her, Mom, I, I, I know, I know the way I perceive life is not the way the normal people perceive life. Yes. But for me, for example, I have, I have built about four machines right now. And akuna siku iyo machine, ata moji tamke niambia nzambi, rent stima ntatoa hapi, rent ntaka hapi, eh, breakdown utanifix aje, nitafanya nini. Akuna machine ata sumoji ishe niambia hivu. What the machine does is I give them raw material, they give me finished product. And they do that without fail. Kama kuna breakdown, it will tell me because it will break down. Yes. And it's for me as the creator to know I need to fix it. Ata before you break down, nakuanga tunisha jua hii niko karibu kufanya. I need to change this, I need to add this, I need to add this. And those machines have done that without fail for three years. If Iso machine zineza ni tukuza mimi kama mumba wao. What about mimi? Mwenye nikona mumba wangu. And I'm a far more superior being than these machines. And, and my creator is a far more superior creator than me. Wow. Mwenye anaipa wayote. Why do I keep complaining? Why do I sleep in Kishina Nikisema? I, sasa leo ni tatoa pirent, kesho ni tatoa pii, kesho ni takula nini. Wow. Why? When things were very dark, uh, very dark in 2020, kajipata, zambi shame on you. Nkwa nimekata tunangalia, kuna machine moja ni ito extruder. Mm. Kajamba zambi shame on you. If you extruder na kuna COVID, hijai kuambia rent na sima na nini na nini na nini. Inajua, it's an unliving thing. But if it was living, it knows that you, it's your work to provide. And you will do it without fail. How about your creator? So that is how now I started changing my perception in life. Yes. I know it's very hypothetical, it's mm -hmm. very philosophical. I don't think so. But for me, I believe that is, that is, that is the why. Or rather, that is my why. And that is why I'm going to come every single morning. Yeah. We are smiling. We are smiling. Yeah. Yeah. So six years later, here we are. Jijenge. Yes, and that's how Jijenge was born. Yes. And what waka kuja tu one after another. Mm. One after another. Mm. Watu waka kuja tu Jijenge. Hivu watu. Yes. Uh, Mtu wetu wa tech. The, our lead tech, pro, our lead production. Just came and was like, oh, I can make this, I can make this. Kuja tu wakansa kama Tom Kono. Mm. He's the lead production. Mm. Slowly by slowly, hivu watu. Yeah. We moved from one to mm. two to seven to fifteen, mm. now twenty-six, one hundred and thirteen. Yes, it? and you are creating jobs. You are here thing. living your dream. What's what's the legacy you are looking into leaving behind? So for me, I want I want to build to leave a dent in this universe. I want to build something bigger than me. As I told you in the beginning, my strength is in leadership and and bringing. I'm a visionary. I want to bring something to reality. Mm. But then I need people with the muscle to manage it and build it to the next level. Yeah. So for Jijenge, I'm looking to the point where I'll grow to the point where I fire myself. Because wow. I know I'm not good at managing. Jijenge, it'll grow if you mahali penye. In a huge corporation, I cannot plan that. Because it doesn't give me joy. No, no. I like, I like being frugal. I like wearing uh, overalls. Yes. Just getting my hands dirty. I like that. That's yeah. what gives me joy. Yeah. So kinyaka kwa boardroom. No way. Ring. No way. Kinyaka kwa ofisi. That is not where I thrive. Yeah. So I want the day I will fire myself. And I'm telling you it will come soon. Soon. In the next maybe three years, five yeah. years, I'll fire myself. Yeah. And I'll give it to someone who I know can take it uh, to the next level. To the next. I want to build something way bigger than you. Way bigger. Yeah. Way bigger. But big. to the fifth, sixth, seventh generation, what I said, my mm. And we had our, our ancestors. Yes, yes. 
kuna ancestor wetu mmoja kama kama sasa hivi wangarima tena ndai but i do it kama tunaenda kama but she's been there and we still talk to her and i can promise you we'll be teaching our kids the next generation about her and she's long gone mm, mm. that is the purpose i want in life i don't yes. want to leave it for myself mm. because in realize nikiishi kuji kuji nufaisha kujitukuza ndio sawa nimejijenga nimeomoka then what yeah there are some young people that don't want to get their hands dirty some young people that are still waiting for the white collar job Aye. sending cv yeah. getting a job i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that there's nothing wrong each with that. to their own yes. but do we really have opportunities in Kenya that people can just self employ themselves and what would you tell anyone just stuck there asking themselves what should i do um i think for me uh, my understanding is where there are most problems there are more opportunities because necessity is the mother of all invention okay yes. which continent kwa hii dunia unajua iko na mashida na masaibu kushinda yetu eh yetu yetu na ndo queen bee Queen Bee Machine. Kai woi. Kai woi. Ye Africa yetu Queen Bee Machine. Queen Bee. You call you guys. Siko da Queen Queen Bee Machine. Ah. So, because this is no hapa kwetu ndo Queen Bee Machine. Na masha hapa kwetu ndo kuna live the most opportunities. Wow. And by God's grace I've been fortunate enough to travel to I think almost all continents. And one thing that always proves me right every single time is the opportunities on Avenue Americans they have what they mm. say the American dream. Mm. You have no idea how big and huge the African dream can be. Sisi ndo queen be machine or mashida. Sisi ndo 70% of the population iko young people because of that we will soon be the future. Yes, I know it's I'm not speaking about something like 15 10 years time. Is in it was 100 years from now. Maybe I'll not be there to see it. Maybe it's my children's children maybe yes. the third generation will be there to see it. But the moral of the story is you have to start somewhere. somewhere. And it's for us who are there now to do so. Mm. If nothing else, let me take you to numbers. In Kenya about 70 between 60 and 70% work in the informal settlement. In sector sorry yes informal sector is still yet to be defined no no in in the western world we have the first revolution second revolution third revolution and now in the fourth revolution fourth industrial revolution the fourth industrial revolution is very data oriented no no ni ai computers and robots zinafanya given zinafanya we are realizing a lot the power of iot connecting hardware with software and, and automating the process We as Africa bado tuchafika huko. Tuko kama second industrial revolution yes. huko. Tuko bado tayari, tuko bado mbali. But we have the potential to leapfrog. Like literally leapfrog almost one whole revolution mm, mm. which takes almost 100 to 200 yes. years to yeah. realize yeah. and just come to this mm. revolution, mm. industrial revolution we have right now. No, no. So with that said and done ni ngumu sitakudanganya. Nikikwambia ni ukweli eh ni rais nitakuwa nakudanganya. Kama unakuja kwa hii dunia hii side ndio kwa CEO, kwa bazu, uvae suti, uvae tai, uoge, uwe luku, uoge sharobar, uwe a. Siko bad, lakini nayo ni uongo. Sitakuwa na kudanganya. It will happen, but not now. But not now. You have to pay your dues. You have to put in the work. Exactly. Yes. And Be, you have to realize that and the only way you will survive during this period yeah. is being true to your why that is the only way you will survive being true to your why yes why am i always doing been this? exactly being true to your why yeah. so kama imeleta huku umekuja huku kwa umetanga jua kali kama umekuja jua kali ku build your lifestyle it's fine but that's your why be true to that kama unakuja legacy wa chat tutako na tutatutako that's fine there's mm. nothing wrong with that be true to that yeah. if you're building something way far more superior mm. than like legacy touch to 100 generation be true to be that. true give me i want to get to uh, i want to conclude mm-hmm. but just give me three tips that mm-hmm. make a successful entrepreneur for ah. you for you based on you hey my friend that you know that, that those tips change depending yes. on the day yeah, and the time where we are right now so for this time frame reference yes. i think for me to be first of all knowing your why second of all understanding your why 
and persistence and perseverance. There we go. Iyo. Iyo unegonga, 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 yes, unegonga, yes. unegonga. Kama kuna Iyo machine tuko nayo inaitwa uh, uh, press. Eh. Kulikuwa na chuma fulani, <laughs> we couldn't afford kupeleka kwa machine nyoroshwe ikatwe na laser. Yeah. Because it was very expensive. Tulipeleka tukapewa koti ya almost millions. Millions kukata chuma na already imetugarimu this much. Tukazama tutakata siwe yewe na grinder. The plate was 30 millimeters thick. It's about this thick. So imagine kukata yo plate. Neo plate ni 4 by 8. Na tashana mlango. So every single day for almost two months. Tukua tunakuja. Una kato na fikisha hapo. Ni nachukua na kato na fikisha hapo. Nungila nakuja. Kwa utukua tatu. Tukua na kato na fikisha hapo. Kesho asubui tunamika tena. Ivo, 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 ivo. Mbaka tukikata yote. Wow. Tunge za afford millions kukatiwa yes. na machine, which is like it took maybe two days. Persistence, perseverance and consistency. Yes. Show up. Yes. If always show you up. feel like you don't have to. Yes. And, and most of the time you feel you don't want to. Yeah. But show up. Kuna mimflani ilicheki, sometimes kwa biashara ineza kufanyo julize. Eh, hey, nili kosea wapi. Una, una julize. Eh, hey, mungu nilion, niluma wapi nje. Tami mingine unamkangu unasikia we, wachata niende kwa DTW, yopo kwa Mercedes. Yes. Niangalie kama neza shika kamoja. You don't be a shy. Go to you. Go to But yeah. being true to who you are mm. and why, it mm. takes sustain. It takes sustain. Mm. And uh, as we conclude, is there anything you think we should have touched on that we've not touched on? <laughs> and I what would? Um, I think I will shout out to my team. Please give them a shout Ju, out. Something I've realized in the recent uh, times and past, we na like so much. Like, this lady is recycling plastic into building blocks everywhere. I'm in the internet, I'm it's everywhere, you. I'm, it's, it's, you. it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Yes, I agree, I'm the bearer of the vision, I agree, I'm the founder, I agree. I'm, I'm the face. I am, I am the face. But something I love to bring to limelight, and because show you have time, so I can explain, yes. nothing will happen without the team. Nothing. Keep saying that. Akuna, akuna kitu, juwa cha mkambi, siyezi ya enda ni tengeneze machine, ni tengeneze product, ni tafte customer, ni use, ni supply, ni fix, ni chase payment, ni fanye, ni... siyezi fanye. Yes. I am not God. I am very mortal. So, because of that, you need people. And it's actually a blessing to have good people. It's literally a blessing to have good employees. Buda, kuna wengine kakujanga, unabaki uyu ametumwa kukutest. Uyu ametumwa kunitest. Uyu ametumwa kukweke ile majaribu ile. I know. Ile majaribu I ile. Know. Ya nyempita, nipita yes. liambiwa, do you know Jesus? Like I said, my Lord, no, deny. No. Izo ndo deny, zile majaribu. Deny, deny. Una uyu ametumwa. <laughs> Na ende wambie mwenye ametumwa ujanipata. Yes. So, the power of a team. Yes, power of a really good team. Mm. So, with that said and done. Yes. We are good. Now, what parting shot do you have for my people? And where can people find you? Okay. Yes. Um, so, parting shot is be true to your wife. Mm -hmm. Do what fulfills your purpose. Uh, where you can find us. If you're building, if you're in the roadworks, if you're coming off Kiriak Fire Mjango, you have a compound and everything, and you want something different, something affordable, something sustainable, call us. Yeah. Jijenge we in industrial area. Apo Evon Center, Kando ya Nairobi Remand Prison. Mm -hmm. Kama umetupoteza, ingia kwa social media zetu. Yes. Isenge underscore makers. Yeah. Na watafututu mzambi mate. Mm -hmm. Amo usachi tu kabros. Yes. Tatupata hapo jijenge. Phone number? Phone number ni 0768-188-934. Yeah. 934. 934. Yes. Proud of you. Thank Super you. Super proud of you. you. I, 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 I feel like today all I did was get schooled. Mm -hmm. In a good way. I feel like you've also challenged me to work on a couple of things that have been procrastinating <laughs> on to work on a couple of things that i feel have been procrastinating on mm -hmm. which is beautiful so more grace to you do you think by, by the way and the layer you just do what you know how to do best mm -hmm. proud of you yeah, and my people i hope you guys you have been inspired because i don't know like honestly if you guys have not been inspired by this episode i honestly queen bee machine i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But the papa, you know, for me, my take home is obviously know your why. Now, me, Usema, there is no shortcut in life. And as you can see, you see how she's dressed. Me, I keep telling you people, there is no shame in hard work. Stop trying to impress people who will not put food on your table. Stop trying to impress those people. Work on your dream and take time on your, on any, on your dream. Six years. 
six years she's sitting here narrating this story after six years of try x failure 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 and i say do not fear failure yes. you know fear like failure teaches you what not to do next yes. time i genuinely love failing yes. every time i fail i come back with something better yeah. something greater so do not fear failure but above all things don't fear trying out things yeah so asante sana na kama mmesikia there is nothing you can do if you don't have a team we bro kuja hapa bro legendary siku hizi ana make come you appear and this but then we are going to come you are going to ana juu wangu watch ule amepiga no no piga look up kwa kati ya warembo wawili warembo wawili ume ume learn nini i've really learned a lot yes mingi sana yeah ya kwanza nini um our sister hapa amesemaje yeah amekuanga na hiyo goal yake yes. yeye alikuwa anataka kuwa chief in life mm. na alikuanga employed somewhere aka feel like maluniko this is not me yes let me get off um uh, mm. uh ile inaitwaje mm. comfort zone oh, yes. alafu akaenda aka start her own initiative mm-hmm. and i'm really proud of you yes. continue you impacting much. the community yes. na kazi yako safi ni unafanya kazi safi yes. yeah si ndio yes. so asante uh, uh, sana look <laughs> umepiga vizuri hey, hey bro hai yeah. <laughs> 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 Ndaishi kwenye national international media my people yeah yeah he's he's an international or international so thank you so much our legendary camera person and director Edwin Ochieng if you have an inspirational story that you want to share please guys here is my email send a summary and who knows we could be visiting your business soon on our next episode here inspire global have you been inspired let me know in the comment section social handle those are my guests today ziko on your screen call them order bricks whatever it is that you guys you want their work is incredible so come through if you can till next time bye bye